We listen to the music. Instead, we listen to the, li um, to the lyrics they write. And actually, you can tell the dream. You don't have to ask. Observe. Adults, listen and you will find. Don't try to ask a question again and again. But you don't listen when you, after you ask the question. So this is the first thing very interesting about this um, journey of human library in the past few months. Second, we don't talk about race issue. We don't talk about it. Very often when we have uh, a very cultural diversity background, we talk about mm, discrimination, we talk about difficulties, we talk about all these kind of things. Again, it's another frame. Reframe people. Can we not talk about this? Can we just talk about music? Because you're a musician. Can you look at people differently? Talk about music, talk about how they write their song, how about, talk about how their band form, how their band grow, how their band um, overcome problems, make songs, etc, etc. So, in the past seven months, we don't talk about race problems, racial discrimination, we don't talk about it. No, we don't talk about diversity, no. We just talk about music, like today. So, we try to listen to the music as a musician. We look at them as a musician, and we can um, witness the journey of these two men. Okay, I think I've talked too much. Now, let's uh, have a glimpse of the journey. We will show you a, a video made by this one. First, to let everyone know, let uh, this new member know who you are and who, and also you can talk a little bit more, okay, what music you play, uh, you're working now or studying, or what kind of music you're doing? Uh, my yeah. name is Akash. Uh, you can call me Sky. And recent, uh, at the moment, I'm just uh, DJing and playing music with my band. Now we're talking. And so the music I play, well, I listen to mostly is uh, indie music that was I enjoy. Yeah. My name is Zach. What, what music I listen to? I normally listen to like I just listen to any music. What I feel like, like if I'm feeling, if I feel like pump up, I'll listen to metal. How about Bollywood? Bollywood, yeah, when I want to dance, yeah. I will listen to Bollywood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm the vocalist of Now We Talking. I'm Patrick. I'm Patrick. Uh, I'm a drummer as well. Uh, I grew up listening to Blink 182 and also Dave Matthews Band. I'm Joseph. I'm a multi sessionist. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. So basically, I can play mo all kind of music, even <laughs> classical music again. Basically, I play every music, every instrument, every song. I also do like post recording, audio editing, some other stuff like that. And also arrangement and just give to other clients. So, and studying in HKDI. I'm Godfrey and I'm a Chinese local and I play drums. But I'm also interested in playing any other kind of instrument as well. Sometimes with Joseph, uh, we, have been, we have some other you know, performances in other bands and uh, we have our own bands as well and want to play more and more. And uh, yeah, I study also in HKDI. Hi, my name is Grace. I'm a guitarist, also a bassist in the, in the band Radio with Joseph and Godfrey and some other people who are not here. <laughs> and uh, I'm a student in HKDI, I'm taking filming.
Sky has been like doing DJ gigs and yeah. also at the meantime he's also doing band. Like what we are doing at the moment is we're just like working something and also giving time to the band. But there's no guarantee like if we're going to get finance from the band. But I think we're still young and it's best to try in this age what we can do. Basically I'm the one who make the body structure of the song. But the objective of the songs are the one that comes from the band. So if I feel like this topic is like a lo-fi music, I'll try to make it as lo-fi as possible. I'll pre-record, I'll make a demo, and then I'll send it to them. If they like it, they'll go into it. So far, my bandmates are very um, understanding whenever we're all, like if we all have um, if some of us cannot come, then we'll just like, oh, it's okay, you know. Just we'll just let you know what happened, and then we'll we'll just uh, catch you up with uh, what happened. Then you can just practice that. We practice this, and then we'll just send you a video of what we practice, and then you can just learn it by yourself. And then the next practice, at least we're all catching up. And uh, yeah. Like, you know, small mistakes, I'll get so, so nervous, I start shaking and then my voice will get higher, and I'm like, no! <laughs> but at the same time, it's so exciting, but at the same time, I just want to hide. <laughs> so I have, like, mixed feelings, but as long as I'm with them, I know that I can, I'll be able to do it. I wasn't interested in anything that much, other than music. September and after a while they formed a band now we're talking around October. Yeah. I, I have a question. Why why suddenly they form a band? Uh, why 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 <laughs> why do you want to present? Um because they wanted to form a band. <laughs> oh. Wonderful. <laughs> so I you think don't mess with him. <laughs> I, I think there is some motivation or reason behind it. Uh, right? because you can interview them. Uh, they said they felt a bit gay, which is like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they wanted more guys to join them. So, yeah. Okay, I, I don't mind. That's a party. That's a big party. Uh, oh, they got different band members around December, and then, because it didn't work out, so after a while, uh, Those guys uh, and then, <laughs> Hatman and me joined around February. Uh, then it went down. <laughs> <laughs> it was when we were working. And then 
what's going on now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we had like um, the VTC annual dinner. Um, I was invited to play as a guitarist for them. Yeah, him first. Yeah, <laughs> and then she was invited to sing as a backup. But I was just walking past by. And yeah. then like, oh, Jessica, can you help us for a bit? <laughs> like, okay, sure, what do you want? Because <laughs> I'm always like, yeah, okay. And then they told me like, just, you know, practice sing to sing uh, Stand By Me and We Are The Champions. Because like the, the guy was having a bit of trouble saying high notes. I'm like, okay, but I'm just gonna, okay. Anyway, so um, we had like two nights, two nights of practicing, was it? Three. Three nights yeah. of practicing. Two and nights then, of practicing and the third day was the actual day. So. In this situation, I was <laughs> I played the guitar first for the first night. When it comes to the second night, the drummer just quit. The drummer and so I had, one by one. Yeah, <laughs> so after the drummer quit, I was playing the bass guitar already. Um, the performance day, all of them left except the pianist. And then I learned the drums within one hour. And it's my first time playing the drums. And it's like... <laughs> and it's quite odd because it's quite frustrating because you have to learn everything in the last minute and it's not your job to do it and for her situation the singer left as well so it end up sh she she's playing the lead singing on the day when we got on stage it was a mess but no one noticed so as for our future plans uh we just decided to put a tree because, uh, you know, we want to grow more as a band too also. And uh, didn't know what to put, so we just decided maybe a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this one is more uh, like maybe self-development, like, you know, like we're facing each other and then telling each other like what's wrong between us. So that's how you also grow. So you can't just always like point out, like always know that you're always the best or something. And also maybe like, you know, with music, like with our passion, we can make more, earn more, you know, and make this as our full-time job not just like you know we're doing other job at the side and you're also working and hopefully like you know we get to travel more also doing music this year maybe we get the opportunity and Sadib really wants to get a studio so bad <laughs> and so this is uh, uh, one of our goal and to that we also want to make our own EP because we already have some songs already but uh, we want to start recording and then start doing more and even the Electric drum set itself, it has problems. I couldn't even play the hi hat, so oh shoot, I have to play the that the whole time in the <laughs> symbols. That's all. In the end of the day, we just left the place, and then okay, <laughs> we're tired of this. <laughs> if someone asks us to do this again, just leave it. <laughs> so yeah, that was like one of our most memorable performance ever. So this was the first song me and Sadiq worked on. Like uh, called Night Sky, it's on YouTube, and it's really badly done because <laughs> <laughs> that was the first one we actually made, and that was, this was the first place where we also, as now we're talking, perform. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, the Wentz, right? Oh. Yeah, uh, we did some few cover songs there, mm -hmm. and it was it was uh, really uh, you know a day to remember that time, mm -hmm. and uh, there was a Y concept. Yeah, it was uh, it was a very. Uh, like a weird performance because we were they were playing I mean we were playing like not something really you know heavy or anything but it was uh, the other bands were full of metals like you know oh. <laughs> and then we were just like playing really like something smooth <laughs> and then we, yeah, relaxing yeah, everyone's yeah, like yeah. <laughs> so it was a it was a weird uh, concert for us that time this is our future plan so Joseph said that we're going to have regular gigs yep and then we want to have our own original songs and tour around Hong Kong. <laughs> First. Well, yeah, you know, different, uh, different venues and we want to play with different places, you know, regularly also. And Jessica said, we want to aim for a studio. Yeah, so yes. studio, we could get to fund our know, practice and also record our own music and um, also make a page of our own in Wix. <laughs> so yeah. I'm hearing for a drum and like one, two, three, four, it's like basic, right? So, so trying to do something really close, it's like here, like, 
It turns out, <laughs> it, as we said, you can let the music quality be low, right? You can stand, you know, being out of time and then ruin the whole set. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a really useful tip. Yeah. Let me get some feedback, yeah. Uh, for, uh, I'll try my best today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I just think about um, one thing in Hawaii is very unique seriously important is about have you ever tried to organize something i just like it just like a, a ticket for you you, you entry the, the industry if you are just a musician or just a player or you has been hold some concert or you have some developed something in maybe i can read it in newspaper and or magazine so i i would like to to talk about this once again is about it user experience. For those situations we we are we are joining to have perform, it's just like they invite us and we just sing some songs or we play band songs only. But for the part of design, the user experience or the audience experience is is quite weak in this situation. Because um, the time, the materials and the audience you you face maybe that that day you you, you come there then you, you oh just three people or oh a thousand people so you don't know why they come blah 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 so I I I, I would like to suggest uh, in this year or the next year uh, try our best or we just try to cooperate with, with each other to to host an event or a concert once okay yeah cover. Um, make it a bit up. Like, okay. Yeah. The master, the master. Yeah. I mean, of course, there's cultural center in Yamate, but is there any? Does not really fit those LCSD operated. You know what is LCSD? It's the, it's the government department. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it runs a lot of like, I think most of the Hong Kong, uh, most of like those town halls or theaters operated mm -hmm. by them, mm -hmm. and for they are really the cheapest values because they usually get a very very huge discount to arts organizations. Usually we only have to pay like twenty five percent rent. But for those like uh, privately run venues, like in the universities or in like the Grand Hall, it's very expensive. <laughs> and mm. then, mm. like the Hong Kong Art Center, which is also privately run, that would be yeah. very very expensive. Well, probably relatively, how many, how much percent do you have to give to them? I think usually we, we calculate like the cost per seats. Like every 
seat oh, in okay. its, its mm. cost. So I think in, in the government operator value it would, would be like around eight to ten dollars. Eight to ten dollars yeah, for but each seat. Yeah, for each seat. And for okay. so yeah, like privately if, run it would be thirty dollars per seat. So if I say like a ticket for that time is um fifty dollar each and then I times it with the people like let's say there's 600 people who went inside so they'll just take how much perc they'll just take the percentage of this oh, they don't take a percentage, they have a yeah. Yeah. so we'll get like forty dollar and then they'll just get the ten dollar itself like around ten dollars they are uh, <coughs> they're very honest in a way that they have a public list publicly listed rate card on the website so you can check because they have different like pricings from like uh setting up the band like in the morning section we usually set up so it's for set up they have a price and then in the afternoon you guys may rehearse so for rehearsal section they have another price which is more expensive than the set up and in the night usually you have a performance so it's a ticket event so uh, get an other price again so that price will be like even more expensive but usually yeah, the cost per seat rationale is to add all these costs together and then we divide it by, by the capacity of the house Today we will go on with uh, sharing from Toby and today the main topic would be about um, preparation of uh, the songs because we finally confirm uh, the 2nd of June will be the show. I wanted to talk about something like a teen, teen's life like mm -hmm. you know like there was those moments where a teenager used to wear like black black nail polish and those stuff, mm -hmm. you know, like black clothes you know there's like a phrase where teenagers change you know they will stop wearing that kind of clothes and mm -hmm. stuff and they'll start heading to bars clubs and that's mm -hmm. where he met the girl mm -hmm. uh, and then the third one <laughs> the third one is actually like now we're talking is like actually of a group of nepali guys who was mm -hmm. born and raised in here so we also wanted to show like our like country music like mm -hmm. in a country style. Yes. So there's no pop, there's no mm -hmm. there's like country style and then we wanted to show it's about a positive message that we give to friends, to anyone. Mm -hmm. It's about it's just like a mood booster. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And the fourth one would be actually talking about life. But it's actually just, sh I wanted like the songs to be like a story. So mm. like, to connect different joints, but different genre. Mm. Mm. So the first song is Titania, the same as what you mentioned, because um, uh, he talked about the message in the, the mm. song, but for me, it's more on, it doesn't really um, correlate to the meaning of the song, but more on what we did with the song. Because it's the first song we ever debuted it as a whole band, mm -hmm. and first song we ever performed as a whole band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the second song is uh, uh, the one we were playing a while ago. It's a f folk song. Mm -hmm. It's very near to a folk song, and I think it's it's unique. It's different. Um, we don't play much folk songs, and I think it's nice to showcase that we can also play. It 
like this type of music? Yeah, this time we have a, a full band here with us. Oh. Yeah, right on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and play your song uh, one by one. And what you guys prepare to say, just tell us. Yeah, like as if it was um, yeah in the show. And then uh, the Tesla and us can listen. Yeah, have the chance to listen completely. If you want, you want to share with us, and then we can based on this uh, share feedback and uh, make it um, a wonderful um, sharing. Yeah, one, two, one, two, three. Last song, we just want to end it with, like, you know, out of all this, all that, you know, uh, it's, a, it's our own Nepali song mm -hmm. uh, that I compose and also write mm -hmm. the song. And which, which uh, means just smile, you know, smile, yeah, be happy. Okay. Yeah, hasido means like hasido. laugh or smile. Yeah, hasido. Yeah, hasido. Yeah. Hasido. Yeah. So, so all, all songs, songs are composed by you. Yeah, except the last, one. except one. Except this one. The third one. Third. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow! 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 Mm. When it comes to the, the technical one, do you guys know what instrument and speakers and blah 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 will be provided? Mm. No idea. No idea. Yeah, no idea. No I guess you can tell us uh, what you want. Like when we say let's do it, we will do it. Like we won't like back off at it. We won't ditch. And I think that's one of the reason why I think we get along also. Initially, I met Joseph first because we are in the same class. Joseph when they asked, oh. You, you play drums, so talk to our talk to band. <laughs> it's just all about communication with the bandmates. I wasn't interested in anything that much other than music. It's so exciting, but at the same time, I just want to hide. <laughs> so I have like mixed feelings, but as long as I'm with them, I know that I can, I'll be able to do it. Anyone who can also just come and play that music, right? And then, but you need to find that the image of yourself also that it can represent you as a man. Coming to our show. Thank you for Himal Library and BGCA Club and the Tesla for opening this wonderful event. And you guys like come from different countries and backgrounds. I'm really happy to like play music for you guys. So I'm Zach, the vocalist for today. And we got Saju as our bassist, Pat as our drummer, and Sky as our guitarist. So, this is more like a sharing of our song, more than we performing. <clears throat> we have not like really recorded them, but right now it's in a test. If you guys like it, let us do know. If you guys have any question about it, let us know. So our first song is Runaway, so we play pop, so we like to do like a fusion of pop, 
and the first song is like we grew up with a rocket background and it goes like runaway is about chasing a girl so yeah yeah so you guys ready yeah. all right i need that energetic vibes from you guys are you guys ready So if you guys wanted to check us, our band, you can like check it in Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Oh, it's in the notes, I believe. So, yeah, we have been like almost a year now, and this is our first song.
next song is called With You, and it's still a love song, so yeah. <laughs> so, we're boy bands, I think. Yeah, we're boy bands. But, yeah, so this one we have a different vibe now. So I guess you guys can, like, find the difference. This one is more like, I want like, because we normally like used to perform in bars and stuff. And I think if our band can make you guys dance, I think that's what we love to like play for. So. And our drummer would like to call out his wife. wife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's like call me maybe, so yeah. <laughs> Alright. So you guys ready? Let's pretend let's nothing happen. Oh yeah. Alright. <laughs>
really work. Okay. And for people who don't understand, I'm sorry, but this song is about be positive, smile all the time. It's called Hansi Bill.
It doesn't matter what music you listen to, it doesn't matter what people judge you. You just you just give love to music, that's what I believe. So we gotta like use some like equipment of that, but we won't use it fully because I think it's gonna be too loud, so are you guys ready?
talking. I hope you guys enjoy the music. Well, let's give Paul more applause for a very talented young man, Sky, the guitarist, uh, Sack, the vocalist, Saju, the bass, and Pat, the drum. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Let's say hi. Hello. hello. Uh, my name is Godfrey. I'm a drummer for radio. But um, uh, let's get this straight. Um, people have been asking me, oh, you're in a Philippine band. Are you Philippine? <laughs> uh, I would say, I want to say yes. But <laughs> actually, I'm a Chinese local. But uh, there's one thing I really want to tell is that playing in a band, uh, maybe sharing music with different people, in the process, you would forget how, like, what your race are, like, what is your race, like, maybe I'm playing music at the same time, I'm communicating, like, communicating with them, but at the same time, I'm forgetting, oh, I'm actually Chinese, there's no difference between, like, um, maybe playing music at the same time and also appreciating people from around the world, maybe in different music genre. Um, playing in a band um, with different culture doesn't really mean like uh, we have like a really big difference because we're playing music and that's what I'm all about. And uh, I really want to uh, give a special thanks to uh, Jockey Club Labs for cultural diversity studies um, and also Human Library to give us this opportunity because without them um, we won't have this opportunity today to talk to all of you and share the music with everyone. So thank you so much. My name is Jessica, the vocalist. We're called Radio. Uh, it's, it's like a Filipino way when they say radio, it's radio like that, but we like to exaggerate it because extra like that <laughs> and here I'd like to introduce you Gray to Grace she's our bassist and then Joseph our guitarist our multi-talented guitarist <laughs> and then Godfrey our drummer let's start
kind of like just an upbeat song. Yeah, very upbeat After, song. After like singing a depressing song, you know, we want to lift up the mood. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys like the beat, just clap along or dance in your chairs. <laughs> so yeah. So hope you guys enjoy this. I will get my time for me. <laughs> okay, so yeah. It's not that song, please. <laughs>
Radio. Let's give them more, more applause. Thank you so much.